Hi students, today's topic for discussion is double integration using trapezoidal rule. So let's get into the problem. Evaluate integral over 1 to 2 and integral over 1 to 2 dx dy upon x square plus y square. Numerically with h is equal to 0 0.2 along the x direction and k is equal to 0 0.25 along the y direction. So you know h value that is the incremented value all is uh, only for x and k is for y. So you know that the inner integral belongs to the dx variable and uh, sorry uh, dx variable and uh, the outer integral belongs to dy. In this particular problem we see that both the upper limit and the lower limit are having the limits 1 to 2. But there is a variation in the values of h and k. Whereas h is taking 0 0.2 and k is taking 0 0.25. And you should observe one more thing very carefully. Because x direction means horizontal values. Okay. And y direction means vertical values. So first let's get into the prob uh, so formula for the double integration using trapezoidal rule. So what is the formula h into k that particular integral you have to write it on the left hand side or either you can write it as your double integral of f of x comma y dx dy both carries the same meaning. Here I have written the given problem itself. So the formula goes like this h into k divided by 4 of so what do we write inside the bracket terms? Sum of the values of f at the four corners plus twice of sum of the values of f at the remaining nodes on the boundary plus 4 into sum of the values of f at the interior nodes. So I am repeating sum of the values of f at the four corners plus twice of sum of the values of f at the remaining nodes on the boundary. So here four corners meaning in the boundary there will be four corners. So first you have to take the values of the four corners and add them separately and in the boundary itself you will have after leaving the uh, corner elements you will have the remaining elements. So those elements to be added and multiplied by 2. The boundary is completed. And after coming, completing the boundary, the rest of the elements which are inside will be considered as the 4 times of it. So, the sum of the values of f at the interior node. So, so this is the formula. So, let us get into the solution of this particular problem. Uh, again, I am repeating, h is taking an incremented value of 0 0.2 and k is taking the incremented value of 0 0.25. Right. So, now I have drawn the tabulated the table for you. So as I told you, x values are varying from 1 to 2 and y values are varying from 1 to 2. So what I am trying to do, x values are varying from 1 to 2 and y values are varying from 1 to 2. But see what is the difference between these here. How x is varying? x should vary with the h increment. h is 0 0.2. So what will I do? First value is the lower limit. 1 and the incremented value 1.2 and next 1.4 and 1.6 and 1.8 and 2 right these are increasing in 0 0.2 values now what is your k value k is 0 0.25 so automatically your y value should vary in 0 0.25 the lower limit value is 1 incremented value is 1.25 again 1.5 Again 1.75 and 2. You should notice that the first value of x is the lower limit of the integral and the last value of x is the upper limit of the integral. Same way this value is the lower limit of y integral and this is the upper limit of the y integral. So how will I tabulate this particular table? How will I complete it? Let us go in for the first column. So how did I get this 0.5? What do I do? This is my function. 1 upon x square plus y square is my function. 
in this i have to substitute 1 and 1 x value as well as y value if i substitute x x value and y value it is going to be 1 by 2 so which is 0.5 likewise you have to enter this entire table you may wonder why i have uh, done in different colors so that you people will know how to take the extremes formulas etc and substitute in the formula so now let's observe this particular table value i have colored it in different colors here first this is the boundary which i am drawing okay this is the boundary here these values are in a rectangular shape it's okay if we have it in a rectangular shape or in a square shape we don't bother about it but pick up the corner values that's very very important so the corner values are colored in purple color so it is going to be 0 0.5 0 0.2 0 0.125 and 2 uh, and 0 0.2 so first what do i do this is the formula again i'm showing you the formula hk upon 4 so what is h 0 0.2 k is 0 0.25 upon 4 now what do i do sum of the values at the four corners so some of the values at the four corners are colored in this color okay purple color so it is going to be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 and 0 0.125 that gives you 1.025 so i have written that answer and it's also in the same color now coming to here coming to the formula again twice of the sum of the values of f at the remaining nodes on the boundary which means that so this is the boundary as I told you starting from 0 0.5 to 0.2 and uh, going till 0 0.125 and 0 0.02 uh, sorry 0 0.2 these are the boundaries. So already in the boundary you have taken the corner values. Now what is the remaining elements there in the boundary that I have colored in pink color. So I have chosen pink color for the boundary values. So adding all this value. 0 0.4098 plus 0 0.3378, 0 0.28, 0 0.09, 0 0.2359 and all these pink values will result in 6.6566. So this value also I have uh, marked it in pink color. Now let's get back to the formula again. So we have substituted H, K, 4, some of the values at the four corners and uh, plus 2 into the sum of the values at the remaining nodes of the boundary plus 4 times of the sum of the values of f at the interior nodes now let's get into the interior nodes what are the interior nodes interior nodes are the values which are not lying on the boundary very simple so except the boundary line we will consider all the values so totally here we are having around 12 values in my interior so all those 12 values added together will result in 13.4652 which I have used the same color here. Now finally adding up all these three and multiplying and division and this is the final answer for you 0 0.2643. So let me explain it again. So first you have to observe the limits that is very very important the limits of x and the limits of y. Here in this problem we had both x limit and y limit to be the same but not always it may vary also they have clearly specified what is the increment should be done for x, x values and what is the increment to be done for y values h is always for x direction and k is always for y direction so accordingly you split the table right and write the formula and pick up those values and clearly substitute and simplify you will get your answer I hope you understood. Thank you.